All right, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm going to take apart Destiny Behemoth and <clears throat> kind of show you the build of it. Show you some of the things that stand out as a challenge that I had when, when making it. And kind of little tips and tricks for you guys because I want this to be a build that everyone can do and, um, and have because it is a really cool thing. So I'm going to take it apart. got everything off let's flip this baby over I'll show you what we're working with here now I've already gone through and undid the power and stuff but as you can see here it's a pretty hefty build right now we undo the jacks here this is for the effects loop here's our in our out and then this is our headphone out right and our headphone jack this kind of comes out right like this so if i was to unsolder this one wire that headphone thing would come completely out now let's take everything else out now if you keep the mode switch where i have it here this was pivotal to get this drilling right and then once i got that right i was able to continue on with everything else to make it line up it is very challenging now and i say this in the build doc i would probably put that mode switch somewhere else okay and the other place I was thinking is right in between here. I would move this power jack and put that switch in between there. Because it's a challenge to get that little tiny switch there positioned right with all these other knobs and everything. So I think doing an offboard wiring would have made this built a lot better. Now I'm going to take this back out here. I want to show you a few things. Oh, with that build, with this build, now it didn't happen on the other ones I built, but I did have to shave with my grinder, my bench grinder, off the lid to get the lid to shut. If that happens sometimes, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> I go through my boards and I populate them like this, right? I get my, my sockets on there, my resistors, my diodes, and my the JFETs are going on there next, right? And I get all those done... And then I'll go do my capacitors, solder everything, clip off all the leads, all that happy horse shit. And then what I did with this is have just long, long wires coming off every single hole. Super, super long, probably six, eight inches. Because then what I did is I got everything situated in here. I got the pots mounted to the board. Everybody's in here. Everybody's happy. So, okay, and then I have all these wires coming out, these really long ones, and what I'll do is I'll just put in one jack, right? Cut the wires to the length I need and go across. All right, we got this to do next, right? And this is the switched jacks that I talk about too. And you see how we have to wire that, okay? Um, and then I just go right along the way, cutting these extremely long wires out to exactly what I need for... Um, for the lengths so I can keep it really nice and trim in there but still it's not like where there's pressure on any of the wires I can take everything out and it's really easy okay um these are the test panel or the test points that I talk about and see these are multi-turn trimmers these are awesome for dialing in precise voltages I really like these for this it works great but okay we're gonna pull this bad guy out I want to show you a couple other things tear it out again i'll probably put it in again too i've done it like 5500 times now so again this is the wire we disconnect this the headphone jack comes off one thing i want to point out which i'm gonna get a great picture of is which way the tl 071 smd um goes in there because that is something i was digging through the data sheets to try to get it the right way so i want to have that pointed out to you guys there some other things to point out is right here because of the tight clearance between the 16 millimeter pots the nine millimeter pots and this huge belt and brick you have to be really be careful with what you solder on the other side of this pcb so all my solder joints are cut really close to the board so then the belt and brick lays really tight to the board and even with that my nine millimeter pots are really standing out pretty far you know, they're barely connected in there. There's no, not a lot of support. 
it's not the greatest design, but it's what we had to do to get this all to fit in a smaller enclosure like this. That's really kind of it. It's not a challenging build. It's just a lot of wires. So once you get everything drilled and you get your pots in there, you just have this mess of wires to go through and, and you know, kind of get it settled. So I really hope you guys get into this. Um, if you want a board, I'll have all the information below in the description. And we're getting them mailed out uh, as this video comes out. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys build it and, and give me feedback and say what doesn't work or what does work, okay? And um, as always, as always, thank you guys for watching. More Destiny Behemoth to come.